Hello, my name is Paul Halliday, and today I'm going to be discussing Ionic 2 network connections. So, in this video, I'll be creating a simple application that will show a toast whenever we connect or disconnect from the internet. It's also going to show whether we're connected via Wi Fi, 4G, 3G, and so on. We'll also look at observables and subscriptions within this video. We'll see how we can subscribe to a data stream and how we can unsubscribe when we no longer want that data. Let's get started. Run ionic start network blank dash dash v2 and then we need to install the Cordova plugin. So let's run ionic plugin add Cordova plugin network information. As we'll be interacting with the plugin via Ionic Native, let's install the Ionic Native module. So npm install at Ionic Native slash network, and we can save that to the project. I'm going to be running this on my Android device, so I'm going to add the Android platform with Ionic platform add Android. And now we can open up VS Code. So the first thing that I'll be doing is going to source app app module and I'll be importing the network provider from Ionic Native. We can see we're doing this with status bar and splash screen. We just need to do it for network. So import from at Ionic native slash network and we'll use a network provider. We can import this in our providers here by adding network once we've imported it at the top. Then we can head over to pages home home.ts and we can import network within home. So we can use import network from Ionic Native Network. We can then inject it inside of our constructor. So private network, network, lots of networks. <laughs> and we can then start using it. So Ionic 2 has many lifecycle hooks. This means at particular events in the application, for example, when you're leaving a page or entering a page, we can hook in to them events and run specific functions. So I'm gonna hook into the ion view did enter hook, and this allows me to run code when the view has entered. So when somebody's gone onto the page. So within the ion view did enter, I'll be checking to see whether we've connected or disconnected. And to perform that check, we'll be using something called a subscription. So we can subscribe to that event. To do this, we'll run this.network.onConnect. And like I said, we'll be using .subscribe. Now, if you've used promises before, subscriptions are kind of like promises, but instead of using .then and only getting the result, once when it's finished. Instead, we subscribe to the data stream. So if anything happens, we consistently get those results. So we can subscribe here and we can take the data. And for right now, we'll log it out to the console. And if there's an error, we'll simply use console.error and we'll show that error. We can do the same for disconnect. So this dot network dot on disconnect we can subscribe to that data stream. We can log out the data when we do connect and we can log out the error if there's an error. Right now, if we test this on a device, we should get a console log when we connect or disconnect from the internet. Let's give this a try. All right, so it's running on a device and we're currently connected via Wi-Fi. I'm gonna disconnect. And you see, we get this event here in the console and we can say type offline. That means we've gone offline. If I reconnect, we get another event, but this time type is online. And the awesome thing with observables is that we can consistently subscribe to this event. So if I go offline again, we're not limited to only receiving the data once. This happens no matter what, for as long as we keep subscribing to the event. So to make things a little more interesting, I'm going to show a toast at the bottom of the screen when we connect or disconnect and we'll tell the user what type of connection they have. So 
you connected to the internet via 4G or via Wi-Fi or you're offline and so on. So to do this, let's import a Toast controller from Ionic Angular and let's inject it inside of our constructor. So private Toast, Toast controller. We can make a function and that function we can call display network update and we can pass in the connection state so whether we're online or offline we know that that's going to be a string so we can classify it as a string so in here we can create a toast that simply says this dot toast dot creates and the message is you are now connection state so that's effectively you're now online or offline if you've never seen this way of concatenating strings before it's identical to you are now plus connection state. Then we can present the toast. Another thing that we may want to do is tell the user what type of connection they have. So I mentioned like Wi-Fi, 4G and so on. And we can access this data by running this.network.type. Anytime we ask for this, it's simply going to return a string with whatever type of connection we have. The good thing about this property is that it's automatically updated every time the onConnect or onDisconnect event happens without us having to do anything. So we can simply say let network type is equal to this dot network dot type. And we can modify our message to say you are now connection state, i.e. online offline, via network type. We can ensure our message has about three seconds duration. The final thing that we have to do is modify our subscription statement. So I'm going to pass, I'm firstly going to log the data out to the console because we're still debugging. And then I'm going to run this dot display network update data dot type. So we're passing the connection state here, data dot type, for example, online or offline into our function, which simply says you are now online or offline by the type, which is updated here when we either go online or offline. Let's do the same on our on disconnect. So we can log out the data, then say this dot display network update data dot type. If we run this on the device, we should see we are now greeted with a message every time we go online or offline. So we are currently offline. When we go online via Wi-Fi, we get you are now online via Wi-Fi. If we go offline, we get you are now offline via none. And if we connect to mobile data, we get you are now online via 4G. Great, that's everything what we expected. With our current architecture, if we make another page or we navigate away from this page, the event on connect and on disconnect will still be subscribed to. So this means if we go to a settings page and we disconnect, we're still going to get this toast that appears here. We could abstract this to a provider and I would recommend you do so. But for now, we're simply going to look at unsubscribing from the event. So to unsubscribe from an event, let's import subscription from rxjs slash subscription. We can then make class wide variables that we can assign to our subscriptions. We can then unsubscribe by hooking into that variable dot unsubscribe. This will make sense in a second. So we can create a connected of type subscription. Remember, we just imported subscription here at the top and disconnected of type subscription too. We can update our on connect and on disconnect to reflect this. So this dot connected is equal to this dot network dot on connect and the subscription and do the same for disconnect. So this dot disconnected is equal to this dot network dot disconnect and so on. We can then hook into the ion view will leave lifecycle hook. And before the view leaves to go to a different page, we can unsubscribe from these events. So we can run this dot connected dot unsubscribe and this dot disconnected dot unsubscribe. I'm going to quickly edit home.html to reflect these templates. So homepage and inside the homepage we'll have a button 
which will navigate us to the settings page. So button and the click event will be navigate to settings and we'll simply say settings. Then in our command line, we can run Ionic G page settings and that will generate a settings page. We'll then have to add the settings page to the project. So in app module.ts, we can import from pages, settings, settings. We can import the settings page and then we have to add it in both our declarations and our entry components. The final thing to do is to write the navigate to settings function and this will simply run this.navcontrol.push and then the settings page. You'll notice that it's red and that's because we must import it. So import from settings settings. We need to import the settings page. So now on our button, it will navigate to the settings, but as we're leaving a view, it will also unsubscribe from both the on connect and on disconnect subscriptions. So firstly, let's check to see whether it recognizes us at go offline. So I'm going to disconnect from mobile data. And there we go. We got, you are now offline via none. And if we go back online, we get you're now online via Wi-Fi which is what we expected. And if we go to the settings page, and now I'm gonna disconnect from the internet, we do not get the notification saying you are now disconnected from the internet. If we remove the unsubscribe events inside our ion view will leave and try it again. Let's firstly try reconnecting. And as expected, we get the toast. But now if we head over to the settings page and we disconnect, You'll notice we still get the toast that says we're offline. And that's because we deleted the unsubscribe event when we left the view. So I'm gonna add those lines back and we'll no longer get the message when we change pages. I'd advise that you take this code to a provider and then you can simply call on connect and disconnect to your service as well as run the toast from there. I hope this video has helped in understanding online and offline detection for Ionic 2 applications. If it did, then hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more Ionic content. And of course, I'll see you in the next video.